Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as Bucket Plugins. If you're joining me the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week, sometimes more than once a week, like we got an, uh, one yesterday for you guys, so be sure to check that out. But anyway, also, if you have a plugin suggestion that you'd like me to do feel free to comment that in the dribbles below or the comments for you new people and i will give you a shout out when i get to it like this week is brought to you by matt sell <laughs> yeah say that three times fast got flake craft and sebastian helt so thank you guys this is scoreboard um, scoreboard stats which is you can see that going through on the right hand side over here this one this is probably pretty cool it has a lot of tie-ins with mcmmo economies heroes factions simple clans and even use skyblock now it tracks a lot of different things like kills money how long you've been alive how many mobs you've killed who how many people are online puts them on there you can also we'll go over those variables in a moment here you can also go over and put these little custom things in now it's changed a little bit for, since when the author put the page up so i'll go over that in the config file and how you can get those custom things and then you can have like a a temporary rolling uh, scoreboard you can have a bunch of those so it can be a, a changing one um it even has like a, a database plugin and all that stuff which is really cool i will say one thing right out of the box here at this time of doing this tutorial i wasn't able to get the database the the sql light database update reliably so when you see this over here on the right hand side of the the deaths it didn't seem to update that the top kills it didn't seem to update that very reliably however if you do put it in the main stats it does show up just fine just for some reason this doesn't this doesn't work but you can point it at a different database we'll go over that in the configuration so a lot of times you have a host you have a database and all that stuff so you can obviously you can turn it off so if you do side bar it's going to remove it so we're going to put that back on and then uh, for the admins there you have side bar reload so that's going to reload the configuration and then it'll show up here in a second now some of the permissions now your users need the default permissions scoreboard stats dot use then your admins who have the scoreboard stats dot reload and then if you're using the plugin to do signs they'll need scoreboard stats dot sign to create a scoreboard sign so you need the, the plugin for that link will be in the jibbles to do that so let's go ahead that's pretty much all we can do in game so let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration file okay so here we are in our server file here a couple things to note plugins it does have a dependency on the protocol lib now i have the the version that'll work with the 1.8 because i'm running the 1.8 on this um if you want that this to work with mcmmo heroes faction symbol clans and all that you need to get the protocol lib uh plugin and then you also need to set your compatibility mode to true. So we'll show you guys that in a second. So we go into co co uh, scoreboard stats, open that up. And actually, we need to set that to true. So we'll save that. You can set your disabled worlds in here. You can uh, have it not count players who are vanished, uh, or you can leave that false. Now, here's, here's the... Um, What is the word I'm looking for? So now here is the special characters in here that I've copied in. Uh, you, I'll put a link in the jibbles below where you can go to that. And basically what you do, and I'll show you in a second. All you do is you find the character that you want to do and you copy that. So select that copy. This doesn't work anymore, the, the crown thing. And then you just paste it in there. So I already got the crown. So if we want to put it there, we just go bam. And then we save it. So now here's where you enable PvP stats. But like I said, it doesn't seem to work very reliably to update that database. So you can set that to false and then you can update the SQL. Um, and use an actual database. I think that would be more reliable. So now you can enable or disable temp scoreboards. 
So you enable this, and the default one is just top kills. That's the name of the, the scoreboard, and then it's going to show that variable of kills, which I'll put a link to the list of all the variables. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's just tons of them. I mean, some of the ones we've used here is money, online, XP to next level, TPS, mobs, kills, lifetime, all that stuff. And then in here, you can set the interval to show. I think by default, it's like 300 or five minutes. You could I've reduced it just for this plugin. So that's about all that we have to go over there. And now here's you got the SQL. This is where you can set your username, password, the URL for the, the database, and all that stuff. Um, and then that will update that for you guys. So that is it. Like I said, really quick and easy. It's a really fun little plugin that you can just add to your, your game. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Feel free to leave a like if you did. And uh, just letting you guys know, this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. All right. Yes. <laughs> what the? Whoa. Oh, my. Yeah, I want to make one. I got to make one. No, 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 no. Here. <laughs>